Check it. All right, guys, I got another update for you for AMC, GME, and APE. But guys, we got to look at the bigger picture when it comes to these plays. So in this video, I explain the bigger picture and what's going on in the background with the improving fundamentals and why fundamentals do matter in these particular stock plays. I also touch base on the technical analysis again and the golden cross on GME's four hour time frame, which is extremely bullish. So we get into that and I explain that as well in the video. So let's not waste any more time. Go ahead and hop right in the facts, the charts, the data, and see what we have going on. All right, guys, you are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're going to look at the fundamental analysis and technical analysis for GME, AMC, and APE. So, guys, this is something I want all apes to notice and pay attention to and look at the bigger picture for these stocks. GME surges on surprise earnings beat, lifting meme stocks AMC and BBB. Why? Now, why did this happen? Because the in the uh, the fundamentals for these stocks are improving. And don't let anyone ever tell you that fundamentals don't matter. Why do they matter for this particular play in in particular? Because if the fundamentals improve for these stocks, which they are, AMC getting a beat on earnings as well. So if we go ahead and look at AMC getting a beat on earnings, GME getting a beat on earnings, GME having 18.67% short interest, and AMC having 24.39% short interest. With all of this short interest, we could get the institutional shorts out of this play by fundamentally strengthening these companies. And with AMC getting new revenue from the popcorn and different revenue streams, and GME beating earnings and becoming a stronger fundamental company and all of these companies becoming a stronger fundamental company that breaks the short thesis down and the shorts re shorts have no reason to be here why would they keep shorting the stock if these companies are not dying like they think if these companies are obviously thriving <coughs> thriving and improving like the earnings and fundamentals show why would they short the stock there is no reason and that's why fundamentals do matter and you guys have to look at the bigger picture right now of what's going on so we have the fundamentals for amc and gamestop improving we have the overall global economic picture going downhill so we have banks failing which hold the shorts hold some of the short positions if these banks fail if margin calls come if liquidity dries up too much all of these things are ingredients for a short squeeze so we have everything that we needed for a potential short squeeze and if you go back to 2021 apes predicted this current market crash right now so when there was a huge bull run and no one thought a crash was coming apes were talking about how the market is going to crash amc could be the reason of that or part of the reason for that or the market crash could cause the squeeze but that was a long held theory by apes and we are now seeing this play out so with fundamentals improving and the global economic picture going downhill, not that we want people to go in pain, we have the ultimate hedge against these downfalling conditions. And as you guys can see, the market has been tanking, but AMC and GME have been holding up, have been getting these pops, and this is just a precursor to what is happening next. So I wanted you guys to understand that with the bullish fundamentals improving in the background, in the overall bigger picture, what is going on with these two particular plays. <clears throat> So we go ahead and look at the technicals right here for AMC. We can see that we have this overall uptrend holding up on AMC. So if you look at that uptrend, that is bullish. Now, normally on Fridays, a lot of traders want to take risk off the table. So Fridays tend to be down days. So if we hold this uptrend and hold these key levels of $4.30, about $4.60 in between this range here, that is going to be extremely bullish into heading next week. <clears throat> I do think we're going to close right around the five dollar range for amc and right around 
the $5.50, $5 range for AMC. So that is what I'm looking for as far as the technical analysis. And I did just drop an update digging into the technical analysis for AMC. So go ahead and check that out if you want to see more. But I want you guys to know and be informed about this four hour time frame. If we look at the four hour time frame on GME, we can see that we have a golden cross. So this is a bullish technical signal that even the most sophisticated users traders quote unquote smart money uses for a bullish indication so anytime as you guys can see the 50 ema marked in gold comes and crosses over top of the white ema marked or 200 ema marked in white that is called a golden cross and we have a golden cross on the four hour this is extremely extremely bullish and that comes right at the tip of this falling wedge which gives me the indication that this falling wedge is probably going to break out to the upside and we're going to get a nice pop either tomorrow or Monday on GME so don't place any bets on that but that is what I'm looking for if we get the nice movement to the upside that I'm predicting worst case scenario GME needs to hold at least $20 to remain bullish so if we see more downside it needs to hold at least $18 $20 to remain bullish and not come back down to these lower levels of 15 and below sub 18 so that is what I'm looking at for GME and I want you guys to be ready for potential upside because we do have this golden cross and we do have bullish indicators if we go ahead and put on the super trend for GME for the four hour time frame you can guys also see that we have that buy signal on the four hour time frame um, so that is also very very bullish as well and we also are getting that buy signal on the daily time frame as well which is a bullish indication for an overall bigger move as you guys can see we get these daily buy signals and they indicate large movements to the upside once you get these daily buy signal so this is extremely bullish for gme and this is what i'm looking at <clears throat> i'm thinking it's going to close right around probably for this week if we don't get that breakout so if we don't get the breakout tomorrow it's probably going to close right around 2250 22 23 dollars in my personal opinion but if we get that breakout and we can move above 28 to 30 dollars things could get very very crazy for gme but that is what i'm looking at as far as technical analysis for both of the stocks again you guys need to tune into my last video for the update and a deep dive on the technical analysis and as far as ape is concerned we do have a breaking out of this falling wedge as you guys can see it's been a long falling wedge a long drawn out pattern pattern several days in time length but we are finally getting the break out of that falling wedge as you guys can see we pop to the upside then we got the retest of the overall down sloping resistance which we needed to get and now we are in this overall uptrend on ape and ape is an up and after hours looking extremely good extremely bullish for the next day to move up towards this dollar 60 range and dollar 50 range so i am thinking ape is going to close the week around a dollar 50 a dollar 60 and have a bullish day tomorrow we also have the buy signal on the four hour time frame for ape and green weekly or green four hour macd as well and if we look on the daily time frame you guys can see that the MACD moves in waves and it looks like the bearish wave is ending and it's about to get the bullish cross and bullish flip to the uh, bullish side as you guys can see the orange line here is flipping to the upside above that blue bearish line so that is indicating bullish momentum building up in ape and I'm expecting ape to come up and retest this high of three dollars and thirty six cents so guys that is what I'm looking at for the three meme stocks, quote unquote meme stocks in the meme stock basket. But I want you guys to keep in mind the overall bigger picture, the macroeconomics, all the banks failing. If the right domino piece falls, this could cause margin calls, which could cause a squeeze. I know it sounds crazy, but if you look up the fundamentals improving and the short thesis being destroyed and the shorts exiting the play, that is exactly what we want for a short squeeze and we have plenty of short interest for a short squeeze including ape because ape has hidden short interest it's not yahoo's number one more just most shorted stock on yahoo's most shorted stock list so guys that is the video hopefully you found it informative i know i did if you did go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content like this and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right guys that was the video thank you for watching to the end i appreciate each and every one of you that do please drop a like 
comment and subscribe if you haven't that helps the channel grow and the video get seen by more people and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out